as his plans for the next. Vice President Edward Sekandi, Prime Minister John Patrick Amamambabazi and his Deputy General Moses Ali are in another world, dozing the evening away, indifferent to what their boss is communicating. Not far away, Finance Minister Maria Chiwanuka as well joins the party, an incident quite strange and happens probably only in Uganda and a few other places. Had this, the president not been the one delivering the speech, okay, he would be sleeping too. These are the men and women that the president trusts to implement his vision of seeing Uganda transformed into a first world country in 50 years time and as such, many are raising questions on whether the decision of these top guns in government to sleep at such a critical hour does not affect their implementation as the nation continues to boast of terrible infrastructure, miserable roads and yawning health facilities. It is really a very unfortunate situation because this is the time uh, top officials in the government really uh, needed to pay a lot of attention. The same sleeping group is the one that the president enjoys working with. They are all tired, right from the president, the vice president, etc. Those are grandfathers who should, for the few hours they are awake, be playing with their grandchildren. 